once I realized that I could combine my interest in science as well as um, clothing, design, fashion together, then I realized that was what I wanted to do. So I did start out in fashion school. I went to FIT, but around that time I realized I kept on noticing problems in clothing, like having rain jackets that would seep in water at the seams, or having a coat where I couldn't move my arms in. And I was kind of more interested in figuring out how to solve these problems. Like I loved working through the process of things. So I thought that how I could kind of work on solving these problems was through looking at the materials, um, what fabric, what are clothing's made from. And at the same time, those problems that were small inconveniences for me, I realized were really big problems for people with disabilities as well. So being able to make clothing that can be, either it can fit better or it can actually provide assistance is probably helping a lot more people than maybe a little bit of an uncomfortable coat. My research focus right now is on robotic textiles. And what that means are fabrics that have both a sensing and an actuation component. So the applications for my work right now, I guess shorter term, are definitely medical devices, assistive devices that can be used to help people with disabilities. One project that I worked on was called STATS, Smart Thermally Actuating Textiles. And these were arrays of robotic textile modules, we call them and they could be used in the cushion of a wheelchair. So having these textile modules that um, pressurize and depressurize, they inflate, then you can distribute the pressure um, throughout the day. You can kind of change where the pressure is. So that's one application. I did work on one project with some colleagues where we were looking at um, developing soft digital logic devices. In this project, we built something called a ring oscillator um, out of these soft modules and were able to con connect it to a textile-based actuator, a leg wrap, and then based on what's happening with these modules, then we can have it inflate at specific timing. Long term, as we get, I think, more of that manufacturing capability outside of the lab where we're making kind of these one-off or a few off prototypes, then maybe it can translate to all clothing.